In this video, we're going to take a look at function notation and how we can work with it. Function notation allows us to write functions using a little bit uh, different format than maybe we might have traditionally seen. This is read f of x. It's not f times x, it's f of x. And f is the function. So f is this function, negative 5x plus 9. G is this one. H is this one. And what that allows us to do is identify those and then maybe we're given something like we see below here where it's asking me to put the value whatever they put in here the x in so here we have f of 3 that means wherever we see an x that we should put a 3 into this equation and then we're gonna get out a value we can also think of these as something like this 5x plus 9 f of x and y are basically interchangeable especially when it comes to graphing and working with functions like this and we want to graph them we can think of them as the same way the y-axis could also be known as the f of x axis okay so let's say that we're given some values and asked to figure out what they are so here we have f of 3 well that means we're looking at the f function which is this one and we're asked to put 3 in for x so we have negative 5 times 3 whoops, times 3 plus 9 that's going to equal negative 5 times 3 is negative 15 plus 9 which is just negative 6 okay so f of 3 equals negative 6 let's try the next one okay it says g of negative 1 well that means we're talking about this function so we're gonna put negative 1 in for x in that one so we have negative 4 times negative 1 plus 2 then follow the order of operations here negative 4 times negative 1 is just 4 4 plus 2 is 6 so in this case we get g of negative 1 being equal to 6 let's try this next one h of 7 so we're talking about the h function which is this one and we're gonna put 7 in for x so we have 7 squared minus 3 7 squared is 49 oops 49 minus 3 which gives us 46 so h of 7 is 46 okay and another one f of negative 1 that means we put in negative 1 for x in our first expression so negative 1 or excuse me negative 5 times negative 1 plus 9 multiply those two we get 5 plus 9 which is 14 alright next one says g of 0 we're down to our g one again so we're gonna put 0 in for x negative 4 times 0 plus 2 we have 0 plus 2 which is just 2 and finally f of negative 5 means we're going to put in in our f function right here negative 5 for x so we have negative 5 times negative 5 plus 9 equals negative 5 times negative 5 is 25 plus 9 which is 34 so f of negative 5 is 34 function notation allows us to know okay this is the function that I used and this is the value I put in and then it comes out we we get what it's equal to when we talk we can also talk about independent and dependent variables the independent variable is what we put in in these cases the X and the dependent is what we get out so the F of X or the G of X or the H of X those are the dependent variables okay 
Now, if we're given a graph like we are here on the right, we can also find what the values of f of various numbers are. So our first one, we have f of negative 4. Well, remember that this is x. So we're going to find negative 4 on the x-axis, and then we're going to see what the corresponding y value would be. So we go up, there's our graph, and that is at 1. So f of negative 4 would be 1. Okay, again, same deal here. Remember, this is an x, so we'll find that on the x-axis, and then we're going to go until we find our graph. Oop, there it is, 3. So f of 0 is 3. Finally, if we have f of 2, we're going to find 2 on the x-axis right here. We're going to go up till we hit our graph right there. The corresponding y value of f of 2 for this line is 4. So f of 2 is 4. Function notation. We use it. It can be interchanged with y equals something, but what it allows us to do is to identify equations and also tell what value we're putting in. Then we get our, our values. We can substitute things in and get things out, or if we're given a graph, we can find the corresponding values by looking at the graph. I hope this was helpful. Good luck.